So what makes a female covert narcissist so hard to spot? Let's talk about the female covert narcissist a little bit here. My name is Lise Colucci and I'm here to help you with everything related to narcissism and understanding narcissism, healing from toxic people in your life and transforming your life after toxic relationships. So the female covert narcissist is a sneaky creature, okay? She comes across as sometimes meek and mild, sometimes a victim, sometimes very empowered, but very, very emotionally aware. Does that make sense? Where she comes across in ways that you don't see it at first. And the thing about it is her manipulation weaves its way into your life, just like covert narcissists tend to do over time and over a space of time where by the time you get there, often you're already trauma bonded. So they can look really innocent at first. They can look really victim-like almost, or they can look like, you know, like they're just really helpful. But the thing is, this is all grooming. This is all a way to get you to believe the narrative that they're setting while they are controlling you through that narrative. They have a subtle way and sort of a nuance of the way that they approach things that that hides everything. It makes it look like they are completely innocent or they're the victim. But they will insert themselves into your life by being charming, by being helpful, by being charismatic, by being fun, okay? And they will insert themselves into your life in ways that you're like, how did this person get so close so fast? How did this person get in? to my life so quickly. How did they, it's almost like if you become aware of it, you can feel the push in. You can feel the drive and the way someone's conducting things so that you follow a pattern and you just go with it. In their subtle ways, it's not like they're obviously saying, do this, <laughs> right? They're saying, hey, it would be great if I did this. It would be great if we did that, right? And they're subtly pulling their life and your life into one thing pretty fast often so that you get swept away into it and then all of a sudden you're hooked into that toxic person. So are you, have you experienced a female narcissist in your life who you believe is a covert narcissist? Let me know in the comments what you've experienced because there are a lot of examples of how manipulating and how these toxic people behave in relationships. So I think the number one thing that I've noticed with covert female narcissists is they speak the language of emotional intelligence, of high self-awareness, of psychological understanding, of how to get along in relationships. You know what I mean? They speak the language that sounds like they know how to get along in relationships, how to read people. They speak the language of communication, like they learn the tools through reading articles or however, going to therapy, whatever, they learn the tools of how relationship is supposed to work and they learn the language. And so when you're talking to them and you're thinking, oh my gosh, this person's really self-aware. Wow, they really get it. They really understand how to be in a relationship. And if you're a person who enjoys having a relationship with someone who also you know, is that way and speaks this language and can, can really communicate, you believe that's how they are. Or if you're a person who is like, wow, I didn't know that that's how it's supposed to be. You know, a lot of times they will use this to show how much more superior and how much more advanced they are in relationshiping. You know what I mean? They'll use this to show you this so that you follow their lead. But the truth is they're only saying information and words to you. They're not living by it. They're holding you to that standard. And then they flip the standard so that there's a complete double standard going on and they don't live by the rules that they're preaching. They don't live by the words and the benefits of the words of what they're talking about. So they know the words, they know how to do it. They know what they're supposed to do. They just expect you to do it. They don't have to do it then. And they can just take the supply and they can just control you from that place. If you are struggling with dealing with a female covert narcissist or really any covert narcissist and you need some help, check out the information in the main description of every video. There's lots of resources there to help you, including support groups, coaching groups, peer support, and one-to-one -one coaching. So if you need help, go find it there. I mean, the thing about dealing with a female covert narcissist is once you figure it out and once you have 
gotten to where you're like, oh, I need to get out of this or what's going on here? What is going on with her? Right. And she knows, you know, she is going to flip things so fast to playing the victim. She will guilt trip you. She will point out all your flaws. She will dredge things up from the past. Oh, this is a big one that they do. Okay. They love to dredge things up from the past and throw it at you at the most inconvenient moments, right? And the most convenient for them. And, and basically never let you live down even the smallest offense that you have done toward them. Even if that offense wasn't really an offense, you know what I'm saying here? They will use everything from the past. They will hold it against you and they will play the long game because it'll be things from years back. Okay. And when they play the victim, they start smearing your name to other people or they start creating such a weapon of guilt that they're throwing at you all the time that you're forever running around trying to fix it so that you don't feel guilty and so that you're not doing the thing that they say you're doing because who would want to be that person, right? And then the shame that they throw at you from all the things you've done, right? And all the ways you've treated her. But when you step back and look at it, you recognize that it isn't the way she's painting it. It really isn't. There are moments of truth in what she's saying that are a way bigger picture and go back to way more twisted reality than she's letting on. You guys, if you like this content and if you want more about covert narcissists in particular, let me know in the comments what you want to talk about. If you have any questions, hit the thumbs up and hit subscribe and the notifications button so you'll be sure to catch the videos as they appear on the channel. It is never fun dealing with a covert narcissist and the female covert narcissist is a sneaky woman. She will manipulate from the moment she wakes in the morning until the moment she sleeps at night and then she's probably brewing in her sleep more manipulation. You take care of yourself if you're dealing with a covert narcissist. You stay the gray rock course as long as you can. Yellow rock it if you need to with a bit of kindness in the words in order to keep yourself safe and distanced from the reaction she's trying to pull out of you. Remember that they love the reaction. They love when you are in reaction to them because it gives them supply. And boy, if they can make you react, then they've got more ammunition for later when they can throw at you everything you've ever done wrong. So if this is happening to you, please take care. Please keep watching videos. Please ask questions and please get help if you need it. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.